Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a different type of video for you. Um, as you've recently seen in my um, beauty room tour, my filming space tour, I did show my little display of skincare. Um, this is just a, a shelf basically dedicated to just my skincare collection because I do have a lot of pieces I really enjoy and um, I have some thoughts on them. I thought I would share them with you and while also going through everything that I own, I can sort of do like a mini review for everything that I own. Um, so in today's video, we're just going to be starting out with moisturizers. This video is just going to show you my collection and what I think of them and if you want to see what I have and also as we're going through the items let me know what you have and personally how it's been performing for you because I do have a couple of fails I have a couple of products that I haven't had a chance to really mess with yet because I try not to have too many things open all at once but yeah so let's just go ahead and get into it um, before we get started I'll remind you guys to smash that subscribe button become part of the wolf pack today and let's get into it Okay, so no, I don't have anything on my face. I'm getting ready to do some makeup to do a couple of videos. And you know, you start your makeup routine with your skincare. So moisturizers are very, very important. I love moisturizers because it depends. You know, some people, they can go with or without primers. Can't go without skincare, moisturizers. I fully believe in prepping the skin. That way you can have the most even application for your makeup. And yeah, so I'm gonna show you everything that I have. So um, most of these, I'm just going to be honest with you guys, most of these I've gotten in subscription boxes, so no, I haven't spent a ton of money getting my collection. Some things I've gotten in sample boxes, some full size boxes, um, some things were sent to me from brands, and I do have some things that I personally bought myself. I don't know where to start, I have different products. Um, now this technically isn't a moisturizer, but it's good for your lips. Um, I got sent these from Fresh. Um, they were gifted to me through a program called Octoly. And yeah, so this is going to be my mini review of those products as well. Um, they sent me two different flavors. I've tried the lemon. Love the lemon to death. Like, it is nice. Um, I'm just more of a lemon person, but the other scent that they gave me is peach. Now, while it does smell really, really good, it smells like, you know, summer. Summer in a jar. It just depends more on your personal preference, but it does such a good job. And it doesn't really leave any color to your skin, so it doesn't matter what you're going to be wearing later. But to start off your skin, mm, my skincare routine, I always begin with a balm of some type on my lips. That way I can kind of prep them whenever I, as I'm going through my makeup routine, that way I can make sure that they're not crusty, they're not um, dry and flaky. It just, you know, start off really truly with lip scrub, but still, after that, go in with the balm. Just make sure you have everything prepped as you're going through your steps. Uh, like I said, they sent this to me and I will have it linked down below if you want to check it out. Let's just go straight into a couple of fails. <laughs> Let's just rip the band-aid off and go straight to it. First off is from Bosha. This is the Cactus Water Hydrating Cream, and it's green because it's, you know, cactus. Um, whenever I first got it, you know, I did try it. it. Sorry, I went to sleep with swatches on my hand. It's got such interesting scent, and I truly, I wanted to like it. It seemed like such a great idea. Like, I have issues with rosacea. I guess my skin's too sensitive. This just amplifies that redness like crazy, and it takes, it almost takes my skin the entire day to finally calm down, and I have tried this. I did it once with some other products and then I went back to it thinking, you know, like I took a break and then I tried it again just by itself to see if maybe it was just because it was interacting with those other products. No. This just does not work for me. It, like, I want to love it. It just doesn't want to love me. I've heard really good things about Bosch's products. I just, this just ain't it for me. Now the next product, this may be something that you guys might think, are you crazy? Why, why do you not like this? This is from Clinique. This is the Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion. This is a fan favorite. Like this is one of their, you know, everyone loves this and their uncle, like everybody loves this product. But I think because I have combo skin, I have, you know, I've gotten like three containers of this. They keep sending it out in sample boxes. Um, this is the last one that I have because I always pass them along to my mom because she loves them. But I've tried to love them here recently, but every time I wear them, it's just too much. Like, it looks like a light lotion. It does. It doesn't look like it would be that heavy. But for some reason, it just, it just doesn't. Like, it starts off really, really nice, and it absorbs, you know, like, okay, that's doing something weird right there. Um, wow. Okay. That was weird. Like, I guess, a, yeah, 
I got too much out. But it just, I don't know. It. I want to like it again, and I feel like a broken record saying that because so many people love this. I kept thinking maybe it was something wrong with me, but it's not. It's just, it, it doesn't like me. This is just one of those things. It's too heavy on the skin. If I try wearing it under makeup, it separates my makeup throughout the day. I've tried exfoliating before to see if maybe it would help it soak in better and do a better job that way, but it's just not. This might be something more that you can use at night, just not for my particular skin. Clinique, however, and I'm sad that I don't have it because I'm out of it, the 72 hour like moisture surge, the gel that they have, that is awesome. I'm so sad that I'm out of it because I'll probably, I don't need to buy anything right now, but whenever I do, I, that's what I'm going to go for from Clinique. It is perfect. It's perfect. Like during the summertime I can wear it, during the winter I can wear it, it's just great. Alright, so those are the only really two serious fails that I have. Wait, wait. I have another one. This is a sample too. Uh, this is from First Aid Beauty. This is the Ultra Repair Cream. If you have dry skin, you may end up loving this. This may end up being something absolutely perfect for you. For me, it's just too much. It it clogs my pores. It's just, I need something light. So um, just a heads up, most of the things that I like in my collection are gels. They just work better for me. Um, so yeah, this is just another one of those. I think if maybe you're trying to wear it as a mask, like maybe a hydration mask at night, I think that would work, but it's getting passed along. Okay, so we just got the bad out of the way. Let's go ahead and hop into some good. One of my absolute favorites is from Tatcha. This is the water cream. Like packaging alone is so pretty. This is more of a, a pricier item in my collection, but honestly, I would buy it again and again. And the way that I got this, at the end of the year and I think they have some sets now buy this in a set you can normally get this a full-size oils cleansers things like that you can get sets with these in it and it makes this so much more affordable because normally it's just the price of this maybe just like ten dollars more and then you get the bonus items with it so this if you're gonna do it just buy it in a set I'm one of, that's how I shop I am a bargain shopper I'm not gonna spend an arm and a leg to get anything like that's the reason why I don't have these hundred thirty dollar eyeshadow palettes I can't afford it <laughs> as much as I would like to. I just can't bring myself to pay it. The formula may be awesome and amazing and everything perfect, but just where I'm at right now, I, I can't feasibly do it. But this one, if you have combo skin, oily skin, you're going to love this. It wears great under makeup, have, have no issues whatsoever with it. This I can wear anytime. And it's summertime now and I can wear it and it does good. And it seems to help your pores as well. Like I've been noticing my pore situation getting a little bit better as I've been using it. Next up, this is a sample, which I actually have a couple of these. I save them whenever I go traveling or if I'm going back and forth between home and here or here and work, things like that. This is the Belief Aqua Balm. Another gel moisturizer, very, very good. If you've got oily skin, you need this in your life. It's so pretty. It just lays so well on the skin and I don't have any issues with layering it under makeup very nice and I think this one's a little bit more affordable than the Tatcha. Then I have the Tarte H2O. The packaging on this is very cute. Like I'm trying not to blind you with that. I love the packaging on this. Like this is just a sticker. I wish, I don't know why I was thinking of something else when I first got it, but this I'm actually about out of. Like I'm scraping the bottom. Like I'm so close to being done with this and it makes me sad because I like this a lot. It's a little bit of a heavier gel formula, so I think if you've got more drier skin, you would still like this. Because I have combo skin, it works perfect for me. Um, I don't necessarily wear this under my makeup because it tends, maybe it's just a little bit too thick. Like it, loves, it does a little bit too much. If you're wearing like a super, super matte foundation, I think this one would work better that way. But it does really good, and I love the scent of it. Um, Tarte surprisingly it's starting to come out with some good skincare so this one is one of my favorites and this is probably the third one I've purchased so you know I like it if I've bought that many times the next one this I just got I haven't had a chance to really mess with it um, this is the hello fab coconut water cream and again like the Tatcha I love water creams they just feel so nice this one has coconut in it and it is just it smells so good like this is so good. If you have an allergic reaction to coconut, then obviously stay away from it. I have heard several people say they had issues with it, but I thought First Aid Beauty was supposed to be something that people with sensitive skin could have. I've not had any issues with it and had a little bit come off of the rim there, 
and um, yeah. I need to get into putting on my skincare with like a roller or something or a brush because whenever I go to apply my skincare, my face does turn a little bit red. It's just like you can probably see it on the camera. This side's redder than this one. It's always like that for a little while and then it will calm down and it'll be fine. Just nothing like this. It never wants to calm down after that. So I'm excited to get that and that I got from Boxy Charm in the Boxy Pop-Up Sale. Ah, I got a really good deal on that. And next I have a moisturizer from Glow Recipe. You guys have seen me talk about this several times. Like I give it the cuddles. It is such a good moisturizer. This one, because it's watermelon scented, I think is why I enjoy it more during the summer. Um, if you've got oily skin, you can use this no issue. And I've had several people use this. Like I put it on people because I like it this much and I have a backup so I don't mind sharing. Um, but I give people samples of this like out of mine and I share it with them. They love it like even okay this is a moisturizer but if you like the watermelon scent and you don't necessarily want the moisturizer at least get this the spray like this is nice mm, it feels so good the scent is addictive I really really like it I think they've got other flavors that you can get flavors like you're gonna eat it they have other scents in the collection but this is just my favorite one okay this one is a recent acquisition that doesn't sound right this was this is a recent addition to my collection and I'm sorry I gotta take a, a drink break not that kind of drink uh, our air conditioning is still out the guy's supposed to come today and work on it but I'm still trying to film so I've got fans going on and if it's making a hum in the background I do apologize um, but anyways back to it this is a recent addition to my collection this is the Caudalie moisturizing sore bay this was sent to me um, this was gifted to me by the brand through Octoly, and I will have the link to this down below. This one is a whipped formula. The consistency is different than a lot of the heavier creams, and being as such, it kind of makes it easier to wear. Like under makeup especially, this one does really good. I've used it with a dewy foundation, has no issue. Matte foundation, has no issue. This one's really good, and it just, I don't know, it, it does something to my skin that it just I can wear it on a no makeup day and it just makes my skin feel more radiant I don't know what's in this I love Caudalie their products they're just my body loves them my skin loves them and um, I think this is I think this is kind of a more of a prosser item not as much as Tatcha but I think this one's on up there in pros but it is definitely worth it if you have oily combo skin okay so next up I want to talk about I know this isn't necessarily a voice, voice. <laughs> I know this isn't necessarily a face moisturizer, but your eye area is just as important as the rest of your face. And I've heard from several people they say that your face moisturizers are completely different from your eye moisturizers because um, face moisturizers, it's like the something that's in them is too large and they can't. They're not good for the delicate skin around your eyes. So you actually need eye-specific moisturizers. And I only have two in my collection. I only have two, so it's not that many. I just figured it'd be good to throw it in this video as well. The first one is from Pharmacy. I've been loving their products lately. They have been really, really good. Um, this is the Do It All um, Total Eye Cream. And I love the packaging on this. Like the wood cap, the wooden cap on here is really nice and it's a glass component. This one, as the name suggests, it's very, very dewy. If I'm trying to if I know I'm going to be using a super, super matte foundation, any kind of product, like makeup wise, this is what I use to prep my skin. This one's a little bit thicker than what I'm used to, so it may be actually better to use at night if you have oilier skin. Ugh, these swatches, I really should just take them off. I'm sorry. Um, but it is really, really nice. And whenever you put this on, I always make sure I give it a few seconds before I go into something else. You know, just let it sit for a second and absorb and do its job. But it does such a good job. It doesn't have any issue disrupting my makeup if I'm doing like a super matte. It doesn't do as much. Like, if it's super matte looks, it does amazing for. If I'm trying to do like a dewy look, it can kind of... It does have issues with certain concealers, if that makes any sense. Not all of them have a problem with it, but some of them do. So you just have to think about what kind of look you're going for. If I'm going for a super matte look, this is why I use to kind of help my skin not feel 
just you know all the moisture gone out of it this one's really good now the next one this is another recent addition to my collection this was gifted to me from Amore Pacific and I'll have a link to this down below as well okay if you watch my small channel PR unboxing this was featured in it and I had an issue with the packaging like it has this little section here on top and I kept thinking like you're supposed to do something with that but you actually open it instead of opening cap on top you open it right side up and that is so that less air gets into the product it just it helps protect it this I've actually been enjoying like I'm not even gonna lie this it's $85 guys it's $85 I'm not even going to try to sugarcoat it and say that this is something that everyone needs in their life, but at the same time, I really like it. I really, I really like it. I do. It does such a good job, and I'm actually going to put that on right now while I'm thinking of it. It does such a good job. Like, I just go over the whole entire eye area with it. I don't know if I don't know what's in here I really don't it has been helping like um, not necessarily the darkness under my eyes because I, you know that's hereditary I'm getting enough sleep it's you know something I've had since I was little it's just one of those things that you kind of learn to cope with and move on with your life um, but it's not helping with that sadly but it does such a good job just hydrating the area it's kind of it feels like I'm not having any issues with bags under my eyes things like that those are the kind of effects that I go more towards help with fine lines texture and it's just I don't know it's doing good I really didn't want to like it for the price but now I'm so glad that I, you know they give it to me and now I'm gonna have to buy it <laughs> I'm gonna have to buy it and keep this in stock because I seriously love it next two products this is a recent acquisition I just recently got this in my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus last month. This is the Sunday Riley CEO um, Vitamin Rich C Vitamin C Rich Hydration Cream. I have pros and cons for this. Pro, first off, right off the bat, and I always have trouble opening this for some reason. It's like the tab isn't big enough. Let me find my tweezers. Ugh, it forms a suction in there. It's kind of hard to get it out. Ugh okay first off the smell the smell is so good I'm just sitting here holding this um, the smell is so incredibly good on this like I want I want body creams in this I want a whole line with this this scent put it in a perfume body spray I'll buy it this is really good but the problem is because I have oily combo skin it's another one of those that is a little bit too heavy for my skin I think the way I've been using this is more at night if I'm trying to sleep in it and I use it sort of like a treatment that way um, I think if you have dry skin you would appreciate this a lot more because it gives you such hydration I have a lot of issues trying to wear this under my makeup it's just for my skin top it's too much but at the same time I love it so much and I'm not getting rid of it I'm keeping it like I don't keep it for the scent alone don't but it, it does have benefits I have noticed whenever I put this on at night as a treatment and I wake up the next morning my skin just has a glow to it it just feels hydrated like hydration that lasts into the next day it works very very well that way I just I wish they would come up with more of a gel cream version of this that I could wear and I think I would appreciate it a lot more okay and kind of the same thing with the next product this was gifted to me from Laneige this is the Waterbank hydrating gel this is for normal to combo skin. I like this on days that I'm not wearing anything else. And I'll have this link down below also if you want to check it out. This one, okay, presentation on this is beautiful. I love the way that they did this. Like, it looks nice. It looks like this would be something that would be appealing to men as well. Just with the blue color and packaging. It's very sophisticated is a good word for it. I do like it. But this, it's kind of, even though it's a cream or even though it's a gel, it's almost too much I don't really wear this under makeup unless like um, this other one if I'm going for a super super matte situation I know I have to pile more powder on because this is just a little bit too much it almost combats with some of the like if I've tried to put a dewy foundation on top of this it's gonna be a slick mess it just does I wear this on its own 
like on the days where I just put powder on my face and that's it. This does such a good job. I, I don't know why it would make such a difference between if you wear makeup, if you don't wear makeup, but some of them just, they, it comes down to ingredients. Some things don't work well with others. And this one is a good standalone product. Just not something if I'm trying to, I don't know. Maybe, I go back and forth on this. <laughs> Okay, we've got several more to go. I, you know, I didn't realize how many moisturizers I had until I sat down to do this video. Whew, okay. Okay, the next two products I got from the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. Um, not too awful long ago. And um, the first one, this is from Pure Less. This is the Blue Lotus Balancing Moisturizer. And this is to help with fine lines. Like, that's pretty cool. But, okay, it says fine line prevention. So, I mean, if this isn't, while this is nice, it is a gel moisturizer, I do appreciate it. It's nice. This wears especially well under makeup, has no issues with it. If you are someone who has more mature skin, if you have more um, fine lines, things like that in your skin, this isn't really going to give you the benefits that you're looking for. This is just a nice, basic, basic, like, this is just a basic moisturizer. There's nothing wrong with it. There is nothing that I can actually negatively say about it. It's very nice. The smell is pleasant and it doesn't irritate my skin. And I have sensitive skin and it doesn't give me any issues. Um, it's just, I don't know. It's one of those, you know, you take it or leave it. I don't wanna sound bad, but I just, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I'm indifferent to that one. And same thing for this next one. I feel like I'm being mean to it. Um, this, I don't even know the real name of this company, like This Is Feel, I think is what it is. Uh, this is the Feel Balance, a moisturizing balancing cream. I thought it was a body lotion. It is. It is a body lotion and something you can use in her face as well. I personally, I have two very different specific skin needs. I have what I need for my face and what I need for my body. Like this is combo skin up here. This is dry. This is very, very dry. This, while it may be good enough for your body, it may not work for your face. If it works for your face, it won't work for your body. It's just, I don't like this. I think it's a bad concept to have something you can use all over because honestly, people have different needs for their skin and this just isn't it. The smell, like this one, I think it's cucumber. Yeah, it has cucumber extract in it. Um, I mean, it smells amazing. It smells really good, actually. Um, I will never use it on my face. Just, I can't give really any kind of grading system on this. I just can't. It'll never happen. It feels good on the skin, like my body, my arms, things like that. But as far as my face, you're not going there. I feel like I'm ganging up on that moisturizer. Okay, so I only have a few left. Sorry, this is such a long video. Um, these, these are interesting. First off is the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream. I think I got this earlier in the year when it was still um, extremely dry out, and I got this in a BoxyCharm box. Seriously, this is like a $45 cream. BoxyCharm, $21 a month. If you're interested in it, I do have a link down below. <laughs> $45 cream in a BoxyCharm box. So just this one item paid for a couple of boxes, so I'm very happy with that. I'm so happy with this that, in fact, I bought it again through the FOMO box, which is the fear of missing out, and they had select items that you could get. And there for a while, you could get another one of these, which is how I have this. This cream, while I do, I did really, really appreciate it during that time. This one hasn't been opened. Um, I'm gonna wait and save this one. During the winter when my skin is super, super dry and parched, you better believe this is amazing. I love this stuff. It's just, during the summer, I, you know, I still have the other one. That one's at home, actually. I still have the other one. I've tried using it during the summer and it does nothing but make my face feel heavy and it's just it's too much for my particular skin type it's too much but during the winter combo skin girls like I'm just saying the cold air cold dry air outside the heat going like crazy inside you're not going to tell a difference when you have this seriously it's amazing like I need I wish they would put that back in the charm shop because I've been saving some charms I need to buy another one the next one that I have, this is actually sent to me from Pure. This is the 4-in-1 Cloud Cream. This is a gel to water cream, which I think you can tell with my skincare collection. Most of the products that I enjoy are water creams. They just, they work so much better for me. 
but this one people again I think they forget that pure has skincare and they sent me a whole bunch of it and I've been using it trying it out and I may do just a dedicated video on just their brand but this is their skincare and the packaging on this but it looks so cool like it's so interesting I think they did an amazing job with it and I hate that it doesn't get more love than what it does but this one mmm this one has a really good scent and it's very very light and easy to wear don't have any issues with makeup it just it's very nice um, they gave me a couple of their regular creams like the heavier I think it's a day cream but that one I didn't keep it because I know my skin type and I saw this one was a gel water cream and I'm like okay I want this one and I gave the other one to my mom she has loved it ever since she has become addicted to it because she said that it's it's she's kind of getting the same effect that this one is like it starts out like a cream and then it changes and it just seeps into the skin so well she's in love with it so I may have to go back and repurchase that one for myself or get her a couple of backups for Christmas because she seriously she loves it like you've seen me when I have something that I really really like it's like it gets cuddles because I love it so much that's how she feels about that moisturizer I, I really need to get that for her and the last product that I have is from Elemis. This is a crazy expensive cream, guys. Like, kind of like that more Pacific. This one is really expensive too. We got this again in BoxyCharm. Guys, if you don't have BoxyCharm, seriously, you're missing out. But this one is really good. This is the Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Cream. This is an anti-wrinkle cream. Even if you are in your 20s, you need to be thinking about prevention. You need to be doing your skincare routine, getting ready for what's to come in the future. It's just one of those things you need to pay attention to. This one is good too. It is a very good moisturizer. Again, I don't really use it unless my skin is feeling very dry. And I can tell when it needs a little bit something extra and that's when I'll reach for this. Because your skin, whenever it starts to get too dry, it gets irritated. It almost feels scratchy or itchy. You know, or it does for me. It really, I can tell a difference whenever I immediately need something. Like even if I'm out and about doing stuff, and I don't have a moisturizer with me, which I've fixed that. I like this one, I normally keep in my bag 24 seven. Um, or as the little samples, like the Aqua Balm, that one's good. I always have something in my bag 24 seven, but there for a while, whenever I didn't, I would take, I would keep probably two different sprays in my bag. I keep a lot of stuff in my bag, I do. My friends love it, they come by my desk at work and they're just like, hit me. And I'll give them a spray of something, you know, it's funny. But yeah, I'll just, if my skin starts to get that irritated, uncomfortable feeling, I'll go ahead and spray it to get that hydration in immediately. And then I'm rushing to a moisturizer. And this one does it. It takes care of it immediately. Uh, you know, I haven't really noticed a big difference in my complexion. Like, I still have rosacea, so nothing is really going to calm that unless you get treatments for it. And I can't afford that. So, for now, this is what I'm doing. And so far, my skin, like today, it looks a little red on camera, but in person, it doesn't look that bad. I'm actually not having a bad day with it and considering I have no air conditioning I'm sitting here burning up I I'm, I'm burning up I've got a fan on my legs but still like I need other stuff too speaking of getting a hit mmm I love this stuff ooh immediately feel better um yeah so wow that is all my moisturizers I'm sure there are more that I've forgotten and I have a bunch of little bunch of littles that I've gotten in subscription boxes like little samples and I just didn't really feel like showing those I think I'm gonna do a separate tour of just my littles collection if you're interested in that but yeah that's everything that I want to show you guys today I hope you enjoyed this type of video I am going to be going through more of my skincare collection and letting you know what I think on the products and I'm gonna to try to separate it out by like um, face sprays masks serums you know try to separate it out by the treatments that I'm doing specifically so I can kind of give you a whole bunch of reviews in one video instead of trying to do separate dedicated videos for each single product. It doesn't seem conducive to my time and I'm not really sure if that many people would be interested in it but this way you get kind of a whole bunch of products all together. I'll try to include as many links as I can down below and the things I did get from Octoly they will be linked down below and plus if you want to check out how the program works I will be doing a separate dedicated review on Octoly and how to get free products for your channel in the future. But yeah, that's just what we have in the meantime. I love you guys so much. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them down below and let me know if you have any of these and if they are your favorite. 
I love you so much, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!